Hi, it's Donna DiMeglio, Ask a Dolly Girl, and it's the night before my cruise. George and I were going on a cruise with Santa Claus, preparing for Christmas, and I just wanted to take a moment and share with you how I decided I was not going to waste any food, and I hope this inspires you. I wish to flip the phone so that you could see me, but unfortunately, I only know how to record one way. So I've been making bread all week and I have some bread left over, which I'm slicing up and I have in the freezer. They'll be frozen individually and then placed into one Ziploc bag for easy storage once they're partially swollen, frozen, <laughs> not swollen, but frozen. And why? So that way when I need the bread, it will be easy to take out one or two slices or the amount I need. Okay, I made a lot of coffee this morning. I thought we would be drinking coffee. Unfortunately, we did not. So I'm gonna have iced coffee in the morning. That's the um, thermos here is my coffee for iced coffee. And then the grounds, the used grounds, I make or turn into a hand scrub or a body scrub. Actually, this one I keep at my, in my kitchen sink or at my kitchen sink. So after I finish washing dishes and all that good stuff, I can take time to exfoliate my hands, take care of my skin. So that's my favorite. And it's just um, the grounded, used grounded coffee with fractionated coconut oil or olive oil or jojoba oil, whatever you want. The measurement doesn't matter. Just make it at the... Um, thinness or thickness that you like. The main idea is just to get those two together and put them to work for your beautiful skin. Okay, so I had a lot of vegetables in the refrigerator. I thought for sure I would be cooking dinner. I wasn't feeling so well today, so that wasn't an option. So in the first container I have pig, uh, cucumbers. I'm actually making my first fermented pickles and I'm taking those on the cruise with me because I have to burp them <laughs> every day. So it just means open the lid and then screw it back in. But the next one, the cauliflower with garlic and some onions, white onions that is. And then I have asparagus with red onions and garlic. I am going to let those sit on my countertop in about seven days when I come back from my cruise, they should be ready. And if they're not, they'll be ready for Thanksgiving. And that's gonna be my um, contribution to Thanksgiving dinner down in South Florida. But my other fermented is cabbage. So I decided to go with red because that's I'm cleaning out my fridge. And so that's going to be sauerkraut and that'll take about 10 to 14 days. Um, we had several avocados in the refrigerator that's here and I'm going to stick those in the freezer and I'll be using them for my smoothies. So it's a nice healthy fat, make my smoothies nice and cold and I won't have to add ice. All right, and then broccoli and cauliflower. It's my favorite snack when I'm traveling. I just love steamed broccoli and cauliflower. And I have a little bit of hummus in the refrigerator, so that'll be my snack while we're traveling to Jacksonville. I had made yogurt earlier in the week, so I have that just packed up, easy storage, but that's my homemade yogurt. And yesterday my friend made lunch for my husband and had some leftover tomatoes. I'm gonna stick these in the freezer and use them for another day. And I had a bag or half a bag of carrots I knew would go bad because they were getting close to looking a little dry. So I have carrot juice in the morning for breakfast. And with all of this, there's, you know, cutting and chopping. There's always leftover um, vegetables. So this is my vegetable bag. It has the asparagus ends and cauliflower, cabbage, some mushrooms that uh, they were still good, but I didn't want to prepare them. I thought they would be really good in my vegetable stock. So literally, 
when I come back home, I will stick this in some water and in a pot with some peppercorns and maybe some other vegetables and break that down into a vegetable broth. So I am happy to share my heart and my love, which is in the kitchen, with you. And I hope this inspires you to feel like you don't have to throw anything away. Um, you can put everything to work. It's just a matter of taking time. And this is actually a very fun project with the family and with kids. I want to thank Natalia for giving me this inspiration. All right, I love you guys. Keep using your oils and have a great week.